Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. I went and purchased some Mylar bags off of Amazon. So they're 25 bags. These are called the oxidizer packets. Once you put your product or whatever you're putting in your Mylar bags, you would place one of these in your bags, put it on a heat sealer. You would want to label your bag. And once this is open, it's said to store in a masonry jar. You want an airtight jar. So I picked up a 15 pound bag of baking soda. And what I'm going to do is, I already have this bag open, so I want to put probably about two cups in each Mylar bag to preserve it. So now I'll get started. I also have baking powder. And when I picked it up at Sam's Club, it came in a two pack. So I'm already using one of the baking powder. So this one I'll put in a Mylar bag. So now I have the Mylar bag open. I'll place one cup in. I'll try to keep this clean okay. so it seals good. Okay, you want to keep the tip clean. One cup. That's up to you. I'm going to place three cups in. I could have bought smaller bags, but I was actually looking for these bags for my pasta. So I have three cups of baking soda in this Mylar bag. I have eight gallon bags here. I could have bought the smaller bags, but like I said, I'm, I bought these gallon Mylar ba bags for my pasta. So I bought a 15 pound bag of baking soda, and it's good till 2024 but I knew I wouldn't use it all. So that's why I bought these Mylar bags so I could break down this big bag of baking soda. And it will last, like I said, about 25 years. And make sure that you put the oxidizers in an airtight container. So now I'll store these in my pantry. Once this little packet of the oxidizer takes all the air out of this package, you'll see that this will turn like a brick so that it's doing its job. So it'll take about a day or two for it to actually get all the air out. Now on to my pasta. This is how your bag should look. You can see all the air is sucked out of it. And these two bags are filled with pasta. And they're good for about 10 to 15 years. In these bags, too, on the pasta, I put in um, the deoxidizers. I put in 500 cc's, so that also helps with uh, the dry pasta. So it comes with the labels, and what I did is I labeled what kind of pasta it is, how many pounds I have in here, when I did it, and the shelf life. So now I'm on to the dry milk. I picked up two boxes of this instant non-fat dry milk. So there's 10 pouches in this box. They're all individually wrapped. What I'm going to do is poke a hole in here to let the air out of this bag. I'll put four packages in this Mylar bag and these four packages actually make one gallon of milk. I'm just using a little pen. And these are resealable Mylar bags. So I'll place it in.
And the reason why I'm saying that I'm putting it right above the eye for instance, this way here I know every package that I did is where I stuck the hole. And this will be good for 25 years in a controlled environment, meaning air conditioning, heating in your home. Okay, so now I have all four in this bag, and then I'll continue on with the rest. And I have two boxes. Once I have all my Mylar bags filled up, that's when I'll put in these deoxidizers in each bag, and then I'll seal it on my heat sealer. The reason why I'm poking the hole is I read online that it said to poke a hole in this bag in any bag that you have a container in to let the air out so that when you have the deoxidizer in your bag it'll let the air out of this bag and also the mylar bag so that's why i'm doing it now i'll place one deoxidizer in each bag So it made five bags, so I'll have five gallons of milk. And it's all sealed. And you can see the little notch where you would actually cut it when you do open the bag. So I'll have five gallons of milk out of these two boxes that I purchased. I also placed this whole bottle in one of my Mylar bags. It's the original coffee creamer. Two pounds, a little over two pounds. So we let the air out. Now we're gonna put it on a heat sealer. Once it comes out, then I'll stick the label on it. So this is my original coffee creamer. It's a little over two pounds, but I just put two pounds. I put that it's good for 25 years in the date that I put it in the Mylar bag.